Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and I had a couple questions that were about the new Silhouette pen holder for the Silhouette Cameo 5 and the Silhouette Curio 2. So I thought I'd just come in and share some information about this and how to install a pen in this new Type C pen holder. So first, let's go over the options that you have. The options for a Cameo 5 or Curio 2 are you have the Silhouette Sketch Pens, which can be installed inside of the blue adapter. This is a separate purchase, separate accessory. It did not come with the Cameo 5 or the Curio 2, so you would need to purchase that. I find that the black Silhouette Pens are pretty good these days. Just keep in mind that your pen body is this. This is your inkwell on your Silhouette Pen, so you cannot expect it to last forever. And they are just like normal pens that you write with. And then the next option that you have is the pen holder type B. And here's a look at it. You get the pen holder and you have three adapters. They each have a letter on the front for small, medium, and large. And this designates the barrel size or which one you use is designated by the barrel on the pen. So skinny pens could use a small um, pen holder adapter versus a larger adapter that would fit a larger bodied pen. And then this one goes in the tool one housing. It's designated by the one on the front. So you would sketch and put this into tool one housing. Now new for the Cameo 5 and the Curio 2 is the type C pen adapter. And this one is just a little bit different. It actually gives you a few more options. So you were limited to a certain pen barrel size with the type B pen adapter. Here you still have your small, medium, and large collars, but you also have the option with this additional piece. Do not lose all these pieces. They are very important to your pen holder. So you have a cap. It does have a specific way to put the cap on. It has a little notch there on the inside. You can see I already have ink on the inside of my pen cap. The cap is very important. With the cap on, this is how you determine the depth that your pen is set to. Then, depending on the size of your pen, will determine what colors and which way you place the adapter. So I'm going to go through and share how you can install a pen in this type C pen holder. It does take practice and this is only, I've only done it a couple of times. So we'll see how I do here. So to install your pen, you're going to place the cap onto the bottom. You're going to grab your white collar in case you need it, have that handy. And then you're going to grab the pen that you want to use. So I am using these Speedball calligraphy, calligraphy pens that I was testing. I'll have everything linked in the description below for all of this. And then you need to determine which collar is going to work. So if you're using normal pens that would fit in the type B pen holder, you can use it with the prongs here face down. For larger bodied pens, you're going to flip this over. You're going to screw that in to the top. And then you'll insert your pen there, get it past that lip there. And then the tip of the pen comes down to the end of the cap. Do not smush the pen in there or you'll smush the tip of your pen when you're doing this. Then you're going to take this collar and you're going to thread it on and you're going to screw that on. And then you're going to take the cap off and you're going to insert that into your tool two of your Cameo 5 or Curio 2. You wanna make sure that your pen is secure and if it moves, you wanna stick that cap back on so you can get the depth again. The best way to know how it's going to look is to grab some scrap paper and just start testing. This is not my first one. This is not my second one. It's not my third one. 
I had to test this with my particular pen to make sure that it was going to work and to see how it was going to do. Here are a couple looks at my first ones. So here is the first one, and I was testing different font styles. You can see this one's really messed up. If your text looks like this, your pen is wiggling in the housing. That's what I found, was my pen was too loose. It was wiggling in the housing. You need to adjust it again. The farther down after I adjusted it and I decreased the force in the Silhouette Studio software, it got much better. When I forgot to, I created a new design and I forgot to change the settings again, so my force was too high, which then caused my pen to wiggle in the housing, and this is what I ended up with. Once I adjusted that, here are the next few tests that I did. And then after that, I was able to set up and sketch with a card. So I sketched this with the pen, and then I cut around the card with my Silhouette Auto Blade. Now that you know how to install the pen into this new Type-C adapter, let's take a look at setting it up in the Silhouette Studio software, and then we'll take a look at the pen in action. Now, here is a, another tip for you. When you are tightening this, you do not want to over tighten it, or if you do, it's going to end up cracking. I've already cracked my first one. So you wanna be very careful with this. When you tighten it down, you can see I've already cracked that there. And that was complete user error. You do not wanna over tighten that. And all that I did was I screwed it all the way down to the bottom here, and then I couldn't get it off the pen. And when I tried to get it off the pen, it cracked. So I will be getting a new pen holder because that is the only way you can get this little collar. Now I've set this card up. This is what I've been testing and working with. I am using a font called Jenna Sketch. I will link all the information in the description of the video below for what I'm using and for also tutorials on how to use the features that I am I use to create this card. So I use the Project Wizard to create the 5x7 card. I have my machine set up for the Cameo 5 with the electrostatic bed but this can also be used with a silhouette cutting mat as well. You wanna make sure that your cutting mat is clean and free of debris because it is just like writing with a normal pen across a surface. If your surface is not flat and completely smooth, that pen could skip. Also keep in mind that pens writing, it's just like if you were handwriting. I'm sure you've had the instance where you've tried to sign a credit card slip or a piece of paper and your pen did not write on that surface, there are some materials that pens do not like. There is nothing special about these pens and it is not the machine's fault that it might skip or it might uh, not work right if the material doesn't work well at all. So with all of your pens, make sure to scribble with the pen prior to installing it in the machine and make sure to keep the caps on your pens when they're not in use. So I have set this up. I changed the line color for the sketch part to blue and my cut line for my card is red. Now I'm going to come up here to the send tab and then I am using the cut by line color. It's going to take it just a second to populate here. This color here, this red shade, is designs that are off of my cutting mat. Then I have my blue and I like to set mine up with the sketch first. So I have the blue color is being sketched first. It is showing no action because I currently do not have a pen installed in my machine. I'm going to reach over and I'm going to install that pen adapter. And then you can watch that the auto height or auto detection picked up that sketch pen. So then it's gonna automatically set it to sketch. You wanna make sure that the object, the color that you want to change the settings for is the one that is selected. So whatever is gray here is the one that's selected and you wanna make sure that that color is the one showing at the bottom for what you want to change. Now, force of seven was a little bit too much for my project, so I jumped that down, I bumped that down to a four. I probably could have even gone down to a three, 
If you use too much force, it could dislodge that pen within the holder, or you're going to smush the tip of your blade or your pen, um, whatever pen you're using. So here I have it set up to sketch first, and then I have it set up to cut. And then when I click on this red here, it's gonna highlight the red. It's going to bring it down here in the bottom, and you can select your settings for the material that you're using. So this is going to sketch first, and then it's going to cut. So let's take a look at the machine in action. Now to finish the video, I had to wait and get my order for my new pen adapter since I cracked the first one. And I ended up just ordering two, so I have that on hand and didn't have to wait next time. So this is the sketch part of it. You can see it in action, it is sped up, and then it's going to cut around that. I am using the electrostatic bed. You do wanna make sure that you have clearance in front and behind the machine when you are using this bed. It is pretty cool though. I'll have links in the description below for additional information on use of it. So there is the finished card for this. Now there's also an option in the Silhouette software under the advanced settings. So if you click on more for the sketch, I had to choose my Cameo 5 and then the sketch option. If you uncheck sketch sort, that can determine how the pen reacts in certain designs. So I didn't really notice a difference in my design, but it could affect the outcome of other designs that you are sketching and how the pen goes over certain things um, more than once. So just keep that in mind. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Check out the links in the description below for additional information. And thanks for joining me. Have a great day.